Banff, Canada is one of the top places that comes to mind when you mention Canada to someone. And that's because it is one of the most beautiful and most historic places in this amazing country. It has been an absolute dream for us since starting our Banff travel series. From the amazing scenery, the delicious food, and the unlimited number of activities you could do in Banff. After visiting some of the best places around Banff National Park and having a lovely couple of nights at Emerald Lake, we're driving back to Alberta to explore the town of Banff itself and riding a world-class gondola to explore the most scenic viewpoint in Banff, Canada. Morning you guys! Good morning from Emerald Lake Lodge. But sadly, we are checking out of this beautiful place today and we'll be driving back to Alberta and back to Banff. We just wanted to take one more look before we leave. Who knows? Maybe we'll be back by summer. Okay! No, it's okay. It's, it's just right here. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. For your stay at Banff too. Thank you so much. See you again. So right now we are crossing the Alberta border and we are driving to Banff because we are going to stay there for a couple of nights. It's about an hour drive from Emerald Lake to the town of Ban, so maybe we'll just grab some coffee on the way there. Alright guys, welcome to a very cold and windy band morning. We have finally made our way to van and as you can see, Max and I had to pop open one of the luggages just to put on some extra layers because it is quite cold. So today, we thought we'd start our day with one of my favorite animals. We'll be going on a horse-drawn sleigh ride around the beautiful mountains of Ban. As per the reviews that we've seen online, Banff Trail Riders is one of the best places that you can have a horse-drawn sleigh ride experience. That's why we're here by Rear Stables and we're about to check in. Oh, it's very nice in here. Hi! Hello! Hello. Hello. Oh, nice here! Oh, it's beautiful. A horse-drawn sleigh ride around the beautiful mountains of Banff is one of the most iconic activities in the Canadian Rockies. And if you've been following our vlogs, you know how Max loves these big, furry, adorable animals. It was a bit sad that we didn't see any wildlife during our time here, but it was said that on a normal day, you could see a herd of elks playing around the trails while riding the sleigh. Regardless, we still had so much fun. And also there was some free hot chocolates at the end of the ride. Thank you. No worries, thanks for coming out to the guys. <laughs> Walter, this is Walter. No, that's this is Roy. Royce and Hello. John. Royce and Wayne. I have never been so happy to see an elevator of a hotel. Wow. Wow. So many seating area. <laughs> <laughs> Alright you guys, we have finally checked in on our last hotel for this week. 
If you missed the last few vlogs, during this series, we kind of just hopped from hotel to hotel. And that's because we wanted to stay around the area that we wanted to visit in. The first few days was in Lake Louise, and then we moved to Emerald Lake. And now we're staying here in downtown Banff because we're gonna be doing activities and attractions around this area. Shall we give them a room tour? Okay. So we are staying here in Banff Caribou Lodge and Spa. The hotel is conveniently located close to downtown Banff and we'll be staying here for three nights. This is their king room with a balcony. Which I should mention, this is probably the biggest bed that we've had this week. Because the previous two stays, we were only getting two double beds. Mm -hmm. And now we have a king bed. As you walk into the room, you'll be greeted by the king size bed and this very spacious living space with lots of seating area. You can sit here or here if you wanted to order some room service. We also have a TV and the coffee area. And on top of that, I think this is probably my favorite area in the room, the bathroom. It's very stylish and clean. And also you get a lot of theming all throughout the room. You get some antlers on the bed, the artwork, on the lights, and even on the washroom. And while Max's favorite part was the bathroom, this is probably my favorite part. is we got a balcony with a pretty nice view of the mountain. I think it's also nice that this hotel isn't on a busy street, so you can relax and enjoy your sleep for the night. Ready? Mm -hmm. It's a mountain goat. All right, come on. Let's go ride the real gondola. Oh, this is not the one? <laughs> <laughs> Got our tickets. You do have the option of booking this online, just so you have like a specific time that you wanted to go into the gondola. But for us, we just opted into just buying it here. And that's a big taxi. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. They put me on YouTube? You are! <laughs> <laughs> YouTube! Cheers guys, see you later! See ya! Here we go! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe let's close this. Ooh. It's all full. Okay. So guys, if you are visiting Banff, Visiting the Banff Gondola is an absolute must-do. Right now, we are inside the Banff Gondola and going up to Sulphur Mountain. And the views are going to be amazing because it gives you a fantastic view of the town of Banff. The one thing I noticed right away is this gondola is much smaller than the ones that we've had before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think only four people could fit here. If you guys seen some of our vlogs, we've ridden the Sea to Sky Gondola and the Grouse Mountain Gondola back in BC. This is quite small but very intimate, so you get a whole gondola for yourselves. Need it. Thank you. Wow! This gives you the full experience right away, hey? Mm -hmm. And it's so warm in here. Thank you. Wow! Yeah, you can see the town of Banff from here. Look. any food so it turns out that there is a small little walk that you guys could do as soon as you get up here at the top of Banff gondola it's called the sulfur mountain boardwalk and it brings you to the other side of the mountain I guess to give you guys a bit of a different perspective of the mountain turns out that there are mountain goats here we saw some fresh footprints. Hopefully, we can see some. 
every time we go up on a gondola like this, there's always a different experience. Anytime now. Still waiting for the bird. <laughs> This is such an easy walk. What makes it harder is just the wind gusting in our face. It's about a 10 kilometer wind right now, but since we're higher elevation, it's much stronger. We burn so much calories. <laughs> So, after about 10 minutes in a frozen face, <laughs> we are about to reach the peak. We made it! <laughs> we made it at the top! <laughs> this is the top of Sulphur Mountain and it's both a National Historic Site and a Weather Observatory. I can't even move my face because it's frozen. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my beanie is going to fly anytime now. <laughs> so tired! <laughs> you made it! <laughs> we made it! that there are two types of ticket one for daytime and the other one is for the night rice we originally have the daytime tickets but since we have a dinner reservation at the sky bistro we have to go down back to the base and wait for a few minutes because they have to convert the whole place for the night rice event i think we were a bit lucky with timing because as we were coming back from the hike one of the staff approached us and explained the situation that's why we were able to catch the last few gondolas going down How's it going? Hi. Thank you. Thank you. How's it going, guys? Good. You were here earlier. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was like scraping upstairs when you guys walked past. So just back for the night, guys? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We all turned up the sky bedroom. Oh, nice. The recommendation always is the dumplings. When I went up there for dinner, it definitely all the way down. That's where I'm like, okay, it's starting to play. <laughs> Thank Anyways, you. Thank you. Well. Enjoy yourself, guys. Second round. What's going on? There's music. Something is happening in the gondola. Welcome to my ride. Another day has ended. It was beautiful, wasn't it? Maybe it was spent at the top, looking down and around. Fresh tracks in the night. Ahibine is now upon us. Guys, as soon as you step out of the gondola, it's a completely different experience. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My mind is screaming right now because of how beautiful this place is. I think we got a pretty amazing table. This is like the corner table that gives us two angles of the restaurant. I think we booked the perfect time to have dinner as the sun is setting down. Dining at 7,000 feet above the Canadian Rockies is not something that comes so often. 
That's why we are so appreciative that we have a chance to enjoy this breathtaking place. We had their most recommended starter dish that is called the duck wings which was said to have a 24-hour cooking process and a set of their pork and beef dishes. At the end of it all, we have never felt so full and satisfied as this place is the true meaning of a dinner with a view. Alright guys, we just got back to our hotel. Hope you guys enjoyed today's little adventures and make sure you hit subscribe because on the next vlog we'll be doing something that we haven't done before here in Banff. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.